Vitamin B12, otherwise known as cobalamin, is one of the eight B vitamins. It is a water-soluble vitamin, and it is involved in DNA synthesis, as well as fatty acid and amino acid metabolism. We can find vitamin B12 naturally in some foods. However, it is also added to other foods, meaning that these foods are fortified with vitamin B12. And I will explain what foods those are in a moment. Vitamin B12 is also available as a supplement and it also comes as a medication, often in an injectable form for people who have more difficulty absorbing an oral supplement or absorbing vitamin B12 from their food. Vitamin B12 contains the mineral cobalt, which is why compounds containing vitamin B12 are known as cobalamins. We also know that vitamin B12 is responsible for the development of healthy red blood cells, but it is also involved in the development, myelination, and function of a healthy nervous system. Now, when we ingest vitamin B12 in its natural form in food, it is actually bound to protein, and so it must be released from that protein in order for it to be absorbed. So the first part of that process starts in the mouth with the saliva, and the saliva starts to break down that bond. Further down, as we get into the stomach, the hydrochloric acid and different gastric enzymes help to further break down that bond. As the bolus of food gets into the intestines, we have something called intrinsic factor. And the intrinsic factor further helps to release B12 from this protein binding. Now, intrinsic factor is a transport protein, and this helps vitamin B12 to be both absorbed and carried into the body through the intestines. And this process is known as endocytosis. Now this process is actually simplified when we find vitamin B12 in a supplement or in fortified food. In this case, vitamin B12 is not protein bound and is therefore more readily absorbed, especially for people who may have some of their digestive process or enzymes compromised by health conditions or medications. Now the recommended daily allowance for men and women ages 14 and over is 2.4 micrograms per day.